goodness gracious. Gentlemen, what's going on, man? Good to see y'all at the midweek stream, that Thursday sermon. Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. Let me get into your uh, comments here real quick, man, and then we're going to get down to business. Uh, duality reality. What's going on, sir? Hello, sir. Brandon Trueblood. The MGTOW Infinium is in the house. Char Asnaval in the house. Cal G, always shilling for yours truly. Thank you very much, sir. Primo Living BC, Luzo American Patriot. Uh, Mr. Brandon Trueblood, how are you, sir? Good to see you. Sam Fisher is in the house, man. Daniel H. Of course, I'm just reading off the YouTube side. I'll I'll get to you, Brutus, over there at uh, Rumble Dumble and MGTOW TV just momentarily. Guys, we have a uh, an interesting conglomeration of fuckery. That's correct, fuckery to deal with today. And I see that we have some interested parties in the chat. Please do not ban anybody unless they're going out of their way to try to get the, the channel deleted. You know what I'm talking about, like obvious race baiting, things of that nature. You know, the, the normal shit that YouTube's like, oh, look, there's something we can fuck up. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. Darth Malgus is in the house. Super Turbo Death Shark, my man. How are you doing, sir? Good to see you. Uh, Doberman. What's up, homeboy? Radical Rafter. How you doing? Vincent of MGTOW, man. At FNG, that is foul. Then uh, he gets what he gets. Man, that's terrible. It? Seraphim, shouting out true blood. Mm -mm -mm. Line of MGTOW in the house. Good to see you, sir. TPFB in the house, brother. Uh, good to see y'all. Jesus, goodness. Jesus goodness. Jesus is goodness. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and uh, let's get the random verse before I forget the damn thing again. Let's see if we can get something to ward off the fee-fails that are hanging around in the chat right now. Oh, about the middle of the book, and we're going to go right there. Oh, we get the first one. Uh, Psalms 2911, <laughs> 28. Unto thee I will cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest if thee be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear ye, Femmons. Hear ye, goblins. That was directed at you. And I always do like that. I always like the random verse, man. JB from FL, man. This is me saying hi, holding my right hand up. That's talent. That's talent, bro. Talent, you got it, man. The Arbitrary Mac, what's up, bro? John Black, good to see you. Mr. M, hello, Hammer, what's up, man? How you doing? Good to see all y'all out there. Have you been keeping up with the fuckery all week, or are you just waiting for me to compile it all and give it to you in these sermons? I'm thinking it might be the latter. MGTOW Live in the chat. RP Colossus, what's good, brothers? Good to see y'all, man. Mountain Monk, Reven, all you wrenches, stay on your uh, uh, your tippy toes, wrenches. Watch your six, stay frosty. You know what I'm talking about. The seer <laughs> in the house, man, Saint Troglodyte, toxic male. Wow. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, modern Western woman now, women now have their independence, and there's no going back. I, I think that there's a misunderstanding. Uh, I don't care if they go back. Uh, don't give a shit if they go back. If you want to be a trad wife, go get your mixing bowl, get pregnant, and make sure you're slipperless in the kitchen. I don't care if you want to go back. You can't go back. It's too late to go back. You gave the, the people the power to somebody else, and now they've got it. And they said, no, bitches, you're not going back. We're not going to let you go back. You know, sorry, uh, you should have smoked them while you had them, but it is what it is, ain't it? Terrible, terrible. Let me get down in your chats just a little bit more, man. Chad-based Red Pill is in the house, man. What's up, fellas? I'm driving for work right now, so I'll listen along. Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Primo BC is in the house. Chris Moore is in the house. Americus DeVille, as always, in the house, man. Good to see you guys. Whew. Mack truck. Jesus said, fuck you, Goyam. Well, I don't know if he said exactly that. I, I would doubt that a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit, man. 
just a little bit line of MGTOW, my man. Uh, hashtag lockout. Did you hear the man? Hashtag lockout. Perfect your lockout game, gentlemen. Don't be an ATM for these, these hoes. Attention, time, and money is the only thing that they want from you or need from you. Now, if they're getting dick down on the side, that means that they don't like what you're packing. Or you're too smart to give them the dick. Uh, let's let's be honest. I, I could say that. I could say that about a couple of y'all. You're too smart to give them the dick. Because you know what happens as soon as you impregnate them, you're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble. And it doesn't matter which way it goes. If they have the child, you're in trouble. If they don't have the child, you're in trouble. So Chris Moore, man, no bad red pills in that book. No, there are no bad red pills in that book, man. Moises Ledsma, what's going on, bro? Thank you, Hammer, for giving us the power from the Holy Book of Life. That book of a thousand pages of red pills, sir, you're welcome. You're welcome. I would suggest that all of you go out and get yourself a, a nice sized one so that you can read the text. Those pocket Bibles, I think, are kind of a waste of money. Excuse me while I get a a bit of refreshment. Mm. Tastes better than labia. <clears throat> Mr. M. <laughs> I love the sermons, man. I love the sermons too. I love uh, love putting them out there. Radical rafter. Oh yeah, man. What's happening behind the scenes? Mark W. at Hammerhand. The pit has more esoteric values these days, if you know what I mean. Yes, I know what you mean. The bottomless pit of expectations. The pit that gets wallowed out and hollowed out when 43 chads have dumped in her. Yes, sir, I know exactly what you mean. That's not what the book means. There's only one meaning in there when they're talking about the pit. The arbitrary Mac, shouting out lion. Doberman, man, PMP dropped avid. On this uh, dropped avid on this about a half hour ago, they're starting to point the finger at inkwells, of course. Bro, I don't know what the fuck you just said there. Clear that up for me. I don't know what you just said there. You talking gibberish to me. Don't don't confuse me, man. I'm old. Uh, uranium fever, man. I'm ready to be a Honda Civic now. I think most of them are, right? Line of MGTOW, too little, too late for these people that are coming around now. This is a perfect segue into this particular segment that I've got. This is from a podcast called Charles in Charge. I believe this is in Charles in Charge. So I'll shout out to Charles in Charge. And we're going to get busy with it. We're going to give YouTube the basic 35 or 40 minutes, and then we'll switch over. If we're on a roll, we'll go a little bit longer. But uh, y'all know how it is. Let's get busy. Of course, this clip it is this woman who she's a therapist and she's speaking about how she has to train herself to not believe women. Let's go ahead and check it out. I have been trained to never believe a woman's story in her marriage. G.I., I wonder why that is. I wonder how the feminines, how the goblins out there, how the troglodytes, I wonder how they view this woman. When you have a therapist that's out there saying, I have been trained. So that means that there are other people out there that are certainly aware of it in the psychosomatic field, in clinical therapy, aware of how good women are at manipulating everybody and everything around. All they got to do is <laughs> squeeze out a couple of tears. Act like they're delivering a child. <laughs> and uh, most people are going to give them the business. They, they certainly won't give them the benefit of the doubt. You shouldn't give them the benefit of the doubt ever. What you should do is, is straighten them out real fast. You know how to straighten them out? Oh, dear. That, that's how you straighten them out, metaphorically speaking, of course. I wonder if our friend in the uh, chat here that's giving us the business a little bit understands exactly the kind of edge that they're dancing on. They probably don't, and they wouldn't figure it out until they were getting ganked. And that's okay, because I won't be the ganker. I won't be the ganky. I'm just going to make sure that they understand that right now up front so that there's no FBI being sent to my door. 
because that's happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's happened. Hold on. Maybe, maybe my favorite comedian in the world can give me some suggestions to make sure that that doesn't happen. Remember, you fucking bitches! Ah! Forever! No, no, no. You, you was going to give me reasons first. Uh, there's a reason! There's a fucking reason! What should I learn how to do every five fucking years? I bet if I learn how to fuck really good, I won't have to give away everything I own every five fucking years! Because we are, are so convincing. We are so manipulative. We know how to dramatize and, and exaggerate the circumstances and experiences in the marriage to suck someone in, to feel sorry for us, to validate us in our victim story. And when I meet the husband, it doesn't add up at all. Gee, I, I, I wonder why it doesn't add up. I, look, I've said this for many years now, and a lot of people have grabbed onto it and have started saying it. That's very common in this sphere. So shout out to them. But I'm going to tell you right now, the demand for uh, sexual violence for grape outstrips uh, the supply. The demand for racism outstrips the supply. Everybody knows now that you have to be a victim. This is the culmination of the Jerry Springer generation. It's also the culmination of people and their choices. The choices that these folks have made individually and as a voting bloc. Do you want to see some of those choices? Let's let's get ready. Uh, let's let's listen to this young lady one more time. We're gonna hear it out. We're gonna finish it, and I'm gonna play it for you one more time. Uh oh, that, let's get back in there. That's, Come that, on, that's that's a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Believe a woman's story in her marriage because we are are so convincing. We are so manipulative. We know how to dramatize and and exaggerate the circumstances and experiences in the marriage to suck someone in, to feel sorry for us, to validate us in our victim story. And when I meet the husband, it doesn't add up at all. It doesn't, does it? It hardly ever does. It hardly ever does. Gentlemen, I want to welcome you to Consequences. Consequences are showing up all over the country. And especially in hotbeds like New York, California, Austin, Texas, parts of Colorado. Oh, yeah. Finally, today in New York, there's been multiple women posted on TikTok that they're getting punched in the. I want you to look at this now. Look at the right side of her temple <laughs> above her fucking eyebrow. Man, she's got a goose egg coming up. She got clocked. Faced by random men, and men are refusing to step in. You guys, I was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. I can't even talk. Literally, I fell to the ground and now this giant goose egg is forming and I'm like. What do they say about New York? Matter of fact, who's the first person that I heard say that? It was Undead Chronic. And Undead Chronic said it's the biggest egg cemetery in North America. It's where all of these hoes go. I gotta make it in New York. If I can make it there, I'll make. I mean, I ain't gonna sing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna put you through that. But that's what we say, right? <clears throat> that's what he says, and and I liked it, so I adopted it because it's a pretty good saying. It's the biggest egg cemetery in uh, North America, and I, I really don't care. They seem to not care about it either. So let them. Hold on, big head time. Let them. Reap the rewards of their choices. Your body, your choice. Your vote, your choice, right? Immigrants welcome in this pussy. Well, guess what? Immigrants think that they can just get in there and take it. Your own men, not so much. But they'll still find reasons to say, hey, uh, them Hugh Whites over there, the Blizzaks that don't listen to us. They're the reason for all of these immigrants going ape shit. Oh, is that right? Well, what do you think that's going to make the them Hugh Whites and the Blizzaks do? You think it's going to make them engage more with you? It's not. 
<laughs> oh my god, it looks so crazy. You always hate to have to question the validity of these types of stories, but when you live in a time where people will literally sell our nuclear secrets to I mean, look at that fucking, look at that. She got a devil horn growing out the side of her head. I think old boy just exposed the fact that she was a skinwalker. I'm, I'm, I'm just spitballing here. <laughs> remember Brickface? You remember Brickface, right? Brickface went around saying that she got clocked in the face by a man that asked her out and she rejected him. So that motherfucker hit me in the face with a brizak. With a brick! And she went on GoFundMe for about the third or fourth time. Third or fourth time in two years collecting money on these sob stories. Well, she got arrested. So I hope that these girls that are on here are telling the truth. I hope, really, to be honest with you, that it, when they're getting smashed in the fucking face, that the consequences of their choices start rattling around in their head. Oh, maybe it wasn't a good idea to vote for all of these fucking... <clears throat> These morons coming in out of this country, these sub-Saharan Africans, these Iraqis, these low IQ Chinese. Maybe that wasn't a good idea to open your border up and have 30 million of them pour across because now they're everywhere, everywhere. Good luck, hoes. Good luck. To China just for ad revenue, you start to question everything. And any man that's punching women in the face randomly needs to be beaten and arrested because he's probably sick. But if you get knocked on conscious and you wake up and your first thought is, how can I monetize this? You probably got some issues. Okay, just want to give an update on. Let's just think about this for a second. I appreciate in the social media age what's going on with these people and why it's going on. We already understand what it is, don't we? Don't we? We understand what it is. It's narcissism. This culture over the last 20 years has created hundreds of millions of narcissists. They're everywhere. You can't get away from them, which sucks because it sucks because it sucks to be around these folks, man. Uh, let me uh, jump down into your comments real quick. We'll get back into this. But uh, Charles in charge here. I think that's that's my man's name that's talking right now. Forgive me if I got that wrong. Uh, Cause I've got another one on here. Uh, you guys know, you probably know who Chisha Zed is. He's got a couple of things that we're going to go over a little bit too. I don't have a hell of a lot today, but I think I got enough to fill up a couple of hours. Uh, composed sage man, refuse usury, fellas. RP Colossus, give them nothing. Line of MGTOW. Uh, Lena Vance man, type M in the chat if you're MGTOW. Feel free to do look. I'm gonna do it. Boom. There it is. M in the chat. Seraphim, man, that's shouting out to MGTOW and Finium. Super Turbo Death Shark Lion will spit more truth for you in 10 minutes than you'll get in a year of approved media, quote, unquote. A troglodyte, dick denied the dick. You can't have none of that, honey. Can't have none of that. But look, look at the way that these people are. You know, if they get into a car accident, the first fucking thing that they do is start filming bodies. If they get shot before they leak out, and expire and they get sent upstairs they go to heaven uh, you hope they go into heaven anyways i mean i hope for their soul but I, <laughs> I don't really have much hope for a lot of these folks they're filming it while they're dying bro they're filming it that's that's what that's what this is now uh, look at that devil horn on the right side of her head now look look at her i want you to take a close look at her man look the cosmetic work on this woman's face is unbelievable it's unbelievable. She don't even look like a real person. The fucking lip injections, the Botox, the pruned, the, the, the fucking laced up eyebrows. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. She don't even look like a human being. Now, should she get uh, should she get smashed in the face? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, she shouldn't get mad in the face. face. I said I was done fucking crying on the internet. And here I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am going to the hospital. I feel like I'm probably... Oh my God, it looks, it looks like I have a fucking devil horn. Um, I told you the bitch got a devil horn. I told you. This is all a cover story. She got a devil horn. I'm going to tell you something else that I can't stand. I want you to look at her hands and look at her fucking sleeves. You see the the, the women that do this shit? 
and or they cut holes right there and they drop their thumb through so that they can have it look like this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's pet peeve of mine. Pet peeve. Will it stop me from fucking you? Uh, probably not. You know, somewhere down the road in another life, because here in this day and age, nah, nah, the dick stays inside. I don't mess with him no more. Um, honestly, that's kind of fitting. Anyway, um, yeah, I was just walking on the sidewalk and my head was down. I was like looking at my phone, just sending an email, but there was so much room on the sidewalk and like literally nobody was around. And I guess this man, I don't know if he punched me or if he followed me. I literally passed out. <laughs> so I don't really remember. When you get clapped on the temple like that, look at that fucking devil egg on the side of her head. When somebody just comes off and throws a haymaker <laughs> and welts you up like that, yeah, you're going to go to sleep, man. There's a lot of guys that wouldn't would not go to sleep if they got clocked like that. But I think he just was really mad that my head was down. He was walking a dog. So he took it upon himself to body check me and let me know to be conscious of my surroundings, which now I fucking will be. And then I fell to the ground and I like literally blacked out for a second. But then I got up and he was screaming at me, like screaming at me. And I was just like scared. So I literally just- <laughs> What was he screaming? Bitch, are you dead? Did you die, bitch? I ain't going to jail for you. I ain't going to jail for you. Get, get the fuck up. Get up, bitch, get up. Was that what he was screaming? Or was it, why did you walk into me? Why did your peanut butter get in my chocolate? I don't think so. I don't think that's what it was at all. Something don't sound right here. Ran away. And then I was like, wait, am I crazy? Like, what the fuck just happened? And then I was like, oh, oh, okay, cool. But yeah, I'm going to just urgent care. I, it's That's probably so fucking drama. I could put some frozen peas on it and be fine. But everybody's like, go to urgent care. And since I did black out for a second, maybe just in case I have a concussion or something. Hey, um, do you think that her intellect was affected by this? Or has she always spoken this way? Hmm? 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 Because it was like, you know, I had to get a bag of peas and put it on. <laughs> I just get clapped in the face, guys. <laughs> Something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm done with the conversation now. Sit back down. I'm sad. understand how you can get knocked unconscious and your first thought is let me call my friend set up a tripod so we can make trendy tiktok it's almost making a mockery of the whole situation but at the same time there are so many different women talking about this they all can't be lying all of these videos that i'm about to show you were posted within the last 24 hours so i just got punched in the face walking home now look look at that right under that look at under under that left cheekbone <laughs> Come on, man. Look. Did you, ladies, ladies, let, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and call you a lady. I, I know that you're not, but I want to I want to make this pass a little easier. We get this big black ball. Did you really think did you really think that you could vote all of these people into this country because anybody other than Trump? Right. We can't have orange, man. Uh. And there was going to be no consequences for you for importing the third world. Did you really believe that there would be no consequences for you? Did you really believe that these people were just going to show up over here after working in dirt holes for the first 30 years of their lives and look at this opulence over here? You don't see it because you live in it. They see it and it drives them mad. It makes them insane. You start mixing 110 IQs, 90 average, 99 average IQ over here with fucking 75 IQ average people. What, do you, what, what did you think was going to happen? No human is illegal. Then stop complaining about getting punched in the face. They're just saying hello to you the way they do it in their country. You know, you know what I'm saying, right? Sometimes it comes with a pussy grab. Sometimes it doesn't. I was literally like leaving class. I turned the corner and I was looking down and I was looking at my phone and like texting. And then out of nowhere, this man just came up and hit me in the face. Um, uh, yeah, like, so I, I have fallen victim to uh, the, 
the um, men in New York City lifting an elbow or trying to punch innocent girls on the street, except I wasn't on my phone. I was with my coworkers walking in Times Square, so be safe. And there's dozens more of those videos on TikTok. Now, there are some theories that are going around amongst the women that are saying these guys are Andrew Tate followers. They are red pill guys that are just bitter because women don't want to have kids anymore. You know, uh, it, could that be? Yeah. Like on the scale of one to a billion. Yeah, that could be that they might watch one Andrew Tate video, but they're just asshole human beings. This has nothing to do with red pill. Nobody told you in the red pill to go clock a bitch that's just playing on her phone. Nobody told you that. Nobody has said that. And if they, if somebody does say it, you, you can't take it seriously. That's ridiculous. That's absurd. And everybody's an Andrew Tate. I don't, I despise Andrew Tate. I think he's a scumbag and a fool and a charlatan. Oh, and he's also got some glowy connections. So does his brother, obviously. Same mother, same father, all of that good shit. You know what I'm talking about, man. Mike, TV dub, IQ 83 is the minimum for the U.S. military service. Any, anything below that is considered deficient. We'll say it that way, seeing that I'm on, still on YouTube. Right, the second. Lou 213, man, this is a plot to get men demonized some more and destroy uh, stability. Well, I don't think it's a plot to get men demonized. Men are already demonized. They're already demonized. You know, what they're wondering is, how come no man's is stepping up to help me? Why ain't there no men out here talking to me? There had to be some men around that saw this, these women just get fucking smoked and crumbled and crashed down on the ground. <laughs> there had to be. There had to be. And they don't do nothing. Why don't they do nothing? Because when you reach out and try to help, you get fucking sued or you get stabbed or you get shot. And if you fight back and you kill the attacker, what happens? You go to jail in New York. Hoes, you're on your own. You're on your own. You're on your own. You wanted this. You voted for this. You did not protest it. Matter of fact, hold on, big head. When we protested it, you know, men, when we protested it, you protested us. Right there. Right there. Take it with you. Marry one of them. Give them a green card. Be a good citizen. Or I have families and they're just stretching so hard they might pull a hamstring. One of the women recorded a video of the guy that assaulted her. But I turned around at the moment and he was running after me. And he ended up just like walking down the avenue and I ended up taking a video. <laughs> now I know you don't want to judge a book by his cover. Hold on. Let's go look at that cover again. Come on, come on. Back there a couple of seconds. And he ended up just like walking down the avenue and I ended up taking a video. Now, I know you don't want to judge a book by stuck. TikTok. Hold on. Now, there are some theories that are going around amongst the women that are saying these guys are Andrew Tate followers. They are red pill guys that are just bitter because women don't want to have kids anymore or have families. And they're just stretching so hard they might pull a hamstring. One of the women recorded a video of the guy that assaulted her. But I turned around at the moment and he was running after me. And he ended up just like walking down the avenue and I ended up taking a video. Now, far be it from me to uh, point things out, but uh, that seems to be right in line with what's been happening for, oh, about the last 10 years or so. I'm not going to tell you that there's no white brooders out there that ain't kicking it because they are. It's just not being reported on equally. You see, everybody wants all of this equality. Everybody wants all of this, this equity but they don't want the responsibility of naming these people. They don't want the responsibility of naming these fucking people. Line of MGTOW. I don't believe it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's the guy. Maybe that's not the guy. I don't know. What I do know is that there's always some kind of a bent that comes with this. No, not the Australian bent. We know what them are. The English bent. We know what them are. I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying, far be it from me to point the shit out, you know? Now, I know you don't want to judge a book by his cover, but I doubt that that guy is hitting people because he's watching Andrew Tate. The truth of the matter is, and I don't want to get too political, but when you vote to defund the police, and then you vote to get rid of the guns to protect yourself when there's no police, and then you have insane homeless people living in the streets, and then instead of taking care of those insane homeless people, you vote to bring in immigrants and prioritize those immigrants over the insane homeless people, people get violent. And when people are going insane and they're doing fentanyl on the streets when they start attacking people they're gonna attack the most vulnerable people i don't know when people are gonna get it but new york and la seem to be the new sodom and gomorrah oh and, and you remember this one right like i said we have an eccentric ball of shit to go through today and we'll do this one right here and give a little commentary on this you've already seen this lady you've already seen her and uh, we're going to show it to you again because it came up in this compilation from my fella here. And uh, my goodness, my goodness. Now, if you, before you hear her speak, if you haven't seen her, like a average, decent, uh, she's not from America, but like the girl next door kind of girl looks, right? You'd be, you'd be proud to have this kind of girl on your arm unless you were a MGTOW or a monk. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying. But what comes out of her fucking mouth next, it was shocking, but it wasn't shocking. It's just it's just the way that they are now today, guys. And you have to understand that this is what they wanted. They got what they wanted. They did it with no no regard for their own personal well-being. They did it completely out of jealousy. They did it completely out of malice. They did it because they believed that you were looking down on them. So in order for me to be equal to you, I got to go out there and get 45 bodies. <laughs> I left my boyfriend and I've been traveling for 10 days and I've slept with 22 people in that 10 days. What? Does height matter? 22 people. I've, she fucked 22 people in 10 days. Can you imagine what that cooter smells like? <laughs> I, I couldn't imagine what it smells like. Fucking hideous. You see that stupid smile on her face? 20 tier paper. She got to be a New Zealander. Got to be a New Zealander. The way that they 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 bang them R's when they start talking. It does. It does. Than you said height matters. It does. All right, and weight matters. So step on the scale. Weight matters, but if you're not strong enough to carry me, then bye bye. All right, then let's see. No, I don't want to do that. That's scary as fuck. Why? You're judging guys based on height, so I'm judging you based on weight. <laughs> It's be like, well, that's not fair. I'm just going to leave. Fuck a bitch. I'm, <laughs> you can't judge me. So what do you think about that, man? Radical Rafter, man. She's so proud. So proud. Uh, Jerron Allen, man. Fug, fug that. Who 346, low tide, bro. Dom Grindrod, man. Sounds like a Kiwi rather than an Aussie. Yeah. yeah. Did, didn't I say New Zealand? I thought I said New Zealand. Thought I said New Zealand. Man, Devin Charleston, man, that's scary, bro. Reven laughing his ass off. Uh, no tits, man, from John Isaac. She's got some. She got some. She got some. She got some chesticles. She's all right. <laughs> Hold on, let me uh, let me get back there. Let's, let's rewatch that segment. Please, and then you have insane homeless people whole living in the streets. And then instead of taking care of those insane homeless people, you vote to bring in immigrants and prioritize those immigrants over the insane homeless people. People get violent. And when people are going insane and they're doing fentanyl on the streets, when they start attacking people, they're going to attack the most vulnerable people. I don't know when people are going to get it, but New York and L.A. seem to be the new Sodom and Gomorrah. I left my boyfriend and I've been traveling for 10 days and I've slept with 22 people in that 10 days. What? Does height matter? It, it definitely does. It, it does? Be shorter than me. 
You said height matters. It does. All right, and weight matters, so step on the scale. Weight matters, but if you're not strong enough to carry me, then bye bye. All right, then let's see. No, I don't want to do that. That's scary as fuck. Why? You're judging guys based on height, so I'm judging you based on weight. She got, she got a little bit of chesticles. I mean, not much. Not much. And she's probably clinically overweight. I'm not saying that she's not. Look, big head. I'm not saying that she's not a nice looking girl. I think she's okay looking, right? Clinically, she's probably overweight with the the shit that people said out there, man. <laughs> Who 346, man? They haven't seen violence yet, but it's on it's on the edge. Well, it's on the way to, you know, and these people, all you got to do is look back to 20, late 2014 and 2015 in Germany and France uh, to see what's going to be happening over here. And all of it is 100 percent engineered, 100 percent. The people that sit in your Congress and your Senate, all of those three letter agencies that like to try to bulldog people like me. Oh, yeah, they're in on it. All of them. And they collaborate with the, the other world leaders out here to make it happen. Of course they do. You think that these people just go trekking by the hundreds of thousands across somebody's country, across 10 different borders? To make it all the fucking way up here so that they can do the thing here? No, man. No. They have to have cooperation from them other fucking governments in order to make that happen. They have to have that cooperation. It's terrible, isn't it, man? Lyric faith, man. It's, uh-oh. Yeah, we ain't doing that. Yeah, we ain't doing that. Sorry, brother. We ain't doing that. You see that come up again, uh, mods? Get that motherfucker out of here. That's the first that's the first and only way that this channel gets deleted. So no, don't be doing that. Don't do that. I don't mind if you put your comments on Rumble. Put all the comments that you want to put on Rumble. Don't do it over here on YouTube. Big Chris Entertainment man, women stay home, illegals stay out of sight. Are you guys mad that women women have chose not to mate, chose not to get into the dating game? Of course that's not what's happening. They're killing all of the fucking kids that they get pregnant with. They're killing them. They're killing them. It's not that they're not choosing not to get pregnant. Give me a fucking break. That's some ignorant shit right there. <laughs> Men do not take accountability ever. Ever. Anytime a girl says anything to a guy like, hey, I think men should do something different. They're like, oh, you just date the wrong men. Is this a global problem? No. Like if women are all having a collective experience and saying the same things about men who also don't go to therapy, it's always men that anytime I say an issue that women have, they always turn it back on themselves. Yeah. What is the thing we need to take accountability for that we're not taking accountability for? You got me. <laughs> mm, I think men. Yeah. Can't answer the question. I have a series of emotional complaints and I'm argumentative and I'm masculine as fuck. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. And as soon as somebody runs up on her and checks her, she ain't got no answer. There's no answer. She can't give you an answer. What do men, men need to be more accountable for? Uh, uh. <laughs> Frederick Little, man, uh, will you review Godzilla Kong New Empire? Yeah, but I've got bad feelings about that, man. That's that's putting some bad mojo in me. You know how Godzilla and his power strike, right, his nuclear breath, it's always been blue for boy. Well, it's not blue no more. It's pink. If they turn Godzilla into a bitch, into a female, I'm going to be incredibly fucking disappointed, and I'll probably not watch another one unless it comes right out of Japan. I'm not even. I'm not even joking about that. Line of MGTOW, that knows. The nose knows. I have a tendency to... That's Anna Kasparian prior to surgery. Uh, I think men... In, and Rolo. Nah, I, uh, uh, you know, if you're so passionate about this and you don't have an answer right off the bat, you would think that she'd have an answer or two prepared. Right off of the bat, men don't take no responsibility for nothing. As a, well, what is it? Uh, uh, you know, let me pick my nose over here for a minute. Uh, I don't know. It's something, no. Fuck it. For example? Hold on. Hold on. Like, gotcha, bitch. What do I need a man for? What do I need a man for? Uh now, shout out to this channel right here. This, is, this channel is called Ho Math. 
whole math. If you like, if you like stuff like this, go search them out. The last one was uh, Charles in Charge, I do believe. Uh, you can go hit him. Uh, was it Charles in Charge? I don't, I don't know. I always get them too mixed up. I got to work on that shit. I always get them mixed up. I've written a few things here that you need men for. Pause to read. If you lived in a, in a hut outside in nature, you would not be asking that question. You would see every day. You would say, what do I need men for? To keep threats away, to keep me safe. They go hunting. And that goes uh, hand in hand with females that absolutely 100% know for a fact that they don't need you anymore, that daddy government has got their backs uh, with a certain amount of response time, because you got to call daddy government. Daddy government's not standing right next to you, swole, ready to fucking throw haymakers on transgressors. They don't need you no more, right? They got all the modern comforts, everything, until bitches start getting randomly assaulted and punched in the face all over New York and Los Angeles. Hmm. Hmm. There must be a correlation here. I just can't put my finger on it. Hmm. And they bring back food. They provide. They protect. That's that's what you needed men for back then. And ever since then, men have worked their asses off in, on railroads and in coal mines and going to war. And they created civilization, which is way better than that hut. And just recently, you've started to say that it's not fair that men have more of the wealth than you. And you want to make the same, but then you also want men to pay. So now we have this fake fictional situation where you think you're doing this yourself you think you got up here on your own but this is really what it comes from this is, there are men today still overwhelmingly making all these things available for you it, you mostly have comfy office jobs but since you believe that you're doing this all yourself because you can't see what men are doing you're treating most of them as unneeded like this you're saying what do we need men for they're not needed even though they are still doing all of this and they're not getting very much for it. So now we have a situation where more and more women think that being a product manager is where all of this comes from, and men are dropping out because there's nothing in it for them. If you don't want a man in your life, that's up to you. But if you don't recognize that this is the situation we're living in, then we're all just in a lot of trouble. Um, I hate to tell you this whole math, but we are more than just in a lot of trouble. We're circling the drain, brother. The great experiment is coming to an end if something doesn't change very quickly. Let me take care of a couple of cash apps real quick, man. Keith! Keith, you know who you are, man. Five pieces, bro! Five. Now, now my man, my man's getting this started off completely incorrectly. He didn't say shit. And uh, Joseph, same thing. Right out of the gate, all this fucking cocky, man. Four pieces, and he don't say shit. Hmm. Too much cocky. Already. Already. That's all right, though. That's all right. I do, I do like that. I do like that. James, man, wait till the garbage... All the garbage collectors uh, collectors quit, man. You'll see troubles then. What well, I already have uh, uh, an insane fucking rat problem, a huge rat problem. So yeah, yeah. Somebody just set up their hoes mad. Hoes are mad, and they're getting worse. They're getting worse, man. And uh, I ain't got nothing to say about it because when they start talking about Midtown and they start talking about monks, they're talking to the wrong fucking people. We have already gone. We're gone. We checked out. We're out of here. We're 86. That's it. That's it. It's over. Fence of the Midtown, man. God has to change it himself. I predict a lot of the technology we have will be going away. Well, I think... Uh, it's going to start with things like with laws. And uh, I'm not one for more, fu more fucking laws. I'm really not. But let me tell you this, bro. Uh, the best way, in my opinion, to do this is to limit the reach of technology. That's going to start with parents. It's going to start with local and state people doing what they're supposed to do. And that is to keep this shit out of the hands and minds of children. Flo what is Florida? Florida just signed... Uh, into law 
that no no minor well from 14 from 14 down from for birth to 14 you can't have no social media if your parents get hooked up and and they start putting social media on you and letting you do it against the fucking law now your parents are going to be liable for it so let, let's see how that goes i'm not i'm not really in favor of that man but uh, cuz it's everywhere it's everywhere good luck trying to police that shit Devlin McBain, man, they're in a lot of trouble once they realize that they counted on the simps and the cucks for too much. And all of that, all that, all that's left are females and troons to rebuild their crooked empire of usury. These motherfuckers don't build nothing. They don't build nothing. They don't build nothing. All they do is sit around and complain and bitch and moan all day. Like that little thing that we had up in here earlier. Sophie. Talking about men. Um, why don't you do something positive, man? You know how a confirmation bias and selection bias works? That's what Sophie does. That's what all the people like that motherfucker do. Confirmation and selection bias. Uh, uh, she must have missed the 3,000 videos prior to these. Mm. You know, I'm tired of being called out. That's what she really said. That's what she really said. I'm tired of people noticing all of the wrong shit with me. That's what she really said. When they got something to say to you, guess what they're saying? I'm tired of you noticing. Tired of you noticing, man. <laughs> Han Swolo Bugai. <laughs> Go get yourself a hot transa. Better than an ugly woman. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gay. Uh, Angler Senior, man. What's up, Angler? How you doing, man? That Florida will pit parent against child legally. Well, the parents have control of their children until they're 18. So there's there's no legal thing there unless the kids are going behind the parents' backs and setting up phone accounts, which they can't do. Not legally, not legally. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully they'll get it at school, right? I mean, kids ain't fucking stupid. They'll get it at school. They'll see all of that shit happening out there, man. Composed, sage, gay, gay. Oh, man. Marty McFly brothers, we meet online. Gentlemen, we have given YouTube enough of our time. So let me... Check one more again and make sure that I'm not leaving any of y'all hanging. And maybe I am. I think I am. Well, hot, hot, hot diggity damn. Let's get in there and check one more again. Brian. What's up, Brian, man? <laughs> With five pieces, man. Five pieces. He says, I had cereal for breakfast. Want to know why? Was it you didn't have a certain other thing? No eggs. Empty eggs. You don't have any eggs. Have any eggs. No eggs. No empty eggs. You don't have any eggs. Have any eggs. And one of my favorite people here, Mouth the Gape Eight Man, with ten pieces, bro. Ten, ten pieces, man, for five across the eyes. Just like that. Get both sides. But I got I got to give you something for that, man. Yeah, we'll do the longer one. No eggs. Empty egg carton. You don't have any eggs. Have any eggs. No eggs. Empty egg carton. You don't have any eggs. Have any eggs. No eggs. Empty egg carton. You don't have any eggs. Have any eggs. No eggs. Empty egg carton. You don't have any eggs. Have any eggs. None of them. And even when they do have eggs and they get them fertilized, they kill them. Or they become single mothers. So it's a waste of your sperm. Don't waste your sperm. Stop wasting your sperm. Stop wasting your sperm, gentlemen. We're going to get to this. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll let this one. We'll Men let pay majority of the taxes while women are about 65% of all credit card debt and they collect far more welfare than men do. So women still depend on men. It's just indirect. They basically use the government. No, 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 no. This, this is one, one point that I will disagree with him on. It's not indirect. 
They vote left 90% of the time. Those votes go to people that grant them entitlements. Who do the entitlements get pulled out of? You and me. Men are net taxpayers. Women are net tax consumers. And when you get these fucking slopes out here, these fucking smooth brains, and you say that to them, that's not true. I pay taxes. Bitch, did you just hear what I said? Did you not hear what I said? Yes, you pay individual taxes, but females consume the vast majority of the tax base. They consume it for what the government will allow them to consume anyways. Don't, don't get it twisted. They're not in the fucking red. The government's in the black when it comes to that stuff. They put all of the debt on you. You. Not anybody else. They put it on you. Let's, uh, let's talk to my man here real quick. One more again to strong arm us into giving them what they need to believe that they're independent without giving anything in return. And what's even more interesting is women are far more likely to vote for welfare programs, but the only problem is if we don't have enough kids because we're experiencing population collapse, when we get to the ages where we're older, there aren't going to be enough working people to provide those social benefits for the elderly. But you know, whatever, I guess that's just a problem for future us. The average yeah. man outside don't care if you got on Steve Madden's or East St. Laurent. He don't. That shit that y'all be competing with on your own. A nigga gonna fuck you if you got a Michael Kors bag or if you got a Birkin. But a nigga's perfect. gonna fuck you if you in a Honda or if you in a Bentley. Those are not things being put forth by men as requirements. That's y'all competing with each other. I don't think you're being honest. She doesn't. Hold on. She doesn't think he's being honest. I, why am I doing all of this if I can't attract me a fella? Huh? You're not being honest. He loves my Birkin bag. What about my Coachella? Uh, what about that blonde fucking weave? How about them plats? I put a lot of money into them plats. I put on $200 of makeup twice a week. Of course you do it for yourselves. <laughs> That's what they tell you, right? Nah, I did it for myself. I just want to feel pretty. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't listening to you. Get the fuck on down the road with that trash. I'm not listening to you. Not no more. Never, never again. No more. Gents, we giving YouTube enough of our time, man. <clears throat> I'm going to get the fuck on down the road. <laughs> Lying to me. That hyena is stupid. Yeah, man, she's a fucking idiot. And we'll pick this one up over on Rumble Dumble and MGTOW TV. And in the meantime, I'm going to give you the little outro placard, and we're going to start with some music today. Now, I have an eclectic, <clears throat> that means schizophrenic, an eclectic selection of music to listen to today, especially for our outro. And we got quite a few of them, about 10 of them. So we'll be hanging out, talking in the chat when this is all said and done uh, at the end of the stream on Rumble. So hang around and, and chill for that. At some point in time here during the summer, I'll get this turned around and we will do uh, an after show for each one of these streams, the Thursday stream and the Sunday stream. And we'll do that on locals. So if you guys want to come over to locals and chill and just hang out, that's what we'll do over there after the streams. I'll do that for an hour or so or whatever they're going to give me for the fucking free account. And I ain't buying no account over there. But anyways, let me uh, let me get to it. No, no, no. That ain't what I'm talking. Get the fuck out of there. Get off of there. All right. I think we got it. I'll catch you guys in about five minutes.